Okay, um, I'm Katie Rankin and um, I currently work for Snap Cymru. Um, I've been employed for about a year and a half, but I also volunteered for 10 months before I was employed. And how did you get involved with Snap as a volunteer? Um, I had a daughter, well I have a daughter who's got some additional needs and initially I came looking <clears throat> at the courses and then I saw that there were volunteering opportunities and I'd been looking for a volunteering opportunity to sort of get back into work and um, I came on the course and then said I would like to volunteer and started volunteering. And what kind of, was there any training involved with you becoming a volunteer? Yes, so, well, initially I went on the course because I was a parent wanting to get more information um, and I was looking to get into volunteering, but it was only then really I realised that there were volunteering opportunities as well. Um, so I'd had the training before I started, so in that sense I was quite lucky because, you know, a lot of the volunteers sort of start and then get the training, so I had a bit, bit more background information. Um, but you know, there's lots of training and they, they treat you just really like one of the staff members, you get the same training as anyone working in SNAP would. And could you tell me a little bit more about what SNAP does and the services it offers? So basically um, we've, we've got a couple of roles. We're the parent partnership service for um, most of the local authorities in Wales, which means um, legally they have to be able to provide independent advice and support to parents so we are funded for that part of the service for most of the local authorities um, and also we have funding from Families First so um, we, we have certain projects for them from them in Cardiff different offices in, in, in Wales have different projects um, so I'm part funded by the Family First project and by the local authority. So we give independent advice and support to parents of children with additional needs or, or any issues in school really, whether it's bullying, exclusions, behaviour, um, transport, anything to do with school and any difficulties generally we can be there to offer advice and support independent of the local authority. And when you were volunteering, could you describe a typical day? What, what kind of duties did you have? Everything. <laughs> um, I attended meetings, I um, did presentations to um, parents at parent groups, um, answered the phone, um, did the casework. I've sort of taken on board as one of the team, really. Um, I did everything that you know, the caseworker would have done. Um, it's, it's different for different volunteers depending on their capabilities and what they want to do but I was interested in the casework so that was the line I went down. And I know there is um, a helpline, could you describe what that is? Um, so that's open from 9.30 till 4.30 um, Monday to Friday um, and that's for parents and professionals to ring in and get some advice regarding education or any issues surrounding education like bullying, statementing, transport, exclusions um, and it's manned by a trained caseworker um, so that might be someone that's employed or it might be a volunteer with the appropriate training to, to do that. Um, so it's just a source of independent advice um, if we feel that um, the person ringing in needs more support, we can refer them into the casework service. Um, but what we try to do is empower parents and um, give them the information and the knowledge um, and signposting to be able to do it for themselves. Um, how do you think your volunteering impacted the wider community? Or how do you think it contributed to Cardiff? Um, you know, we've only got a certain amount of funding for paid employees. Um, so, it, and, and as a volunteer, you've got a bit more time and less pressure, more time to spend with the parents, you know, talking through things and giving them a bit more kind of emotional support than perhaps the caseworker would. Um, so, it, you know, it, it was doing the job that they were doing. And to be honest, as a, an employee now, we, we couldn't work without the volunteers. They do a lot of our admin, they do a lot of sort of chatting to parents, 
um, and, and some of the volunteers I think and the other officers actually go on the helpline as well. Um, you know, so really it's just contributing to the whole <laughs> running of Snap Cymru and being able to deliver what, what we want to deliver. Um, just supporting the case workers to be able to do their job really. And in the large scale, do you think you could define what volunteering means? Either to you or as a, a definition? I guess it's giving your time um, to support a charitable organisation. Um, it might be because you want to give something back to society or help or it might be that you want to gain experience for you to move forward into employment. Um, so I, I think it works both ways, you're giving something but you're also, you are getting a lot back, you're getting the training back, you're getting the experience. Um, yeah, so I mean really what I hoped to gain was the information for me to help my own child but also help other people as well, support other people um, and also to get some sort of meaningful employment whether it be with Snap Cymru or another organisation at the end of it as well. And is there anything you'd like to add that we haven't spoken about? Um, I, I think it, it volunteering I think a lot of charities couldn't run without the volunteers we, we we so appreciate what they come in and do and they come in and work with us um, you know they, they you know they don't get a paid reward for doing it um, but I you know certainly these days when there's not so much funding available to charities that actually they couldn't work without them you know they're invaluable to society as a whole really you know um, and it's also you know a source for empowering other people then to have knowledge and experience to go forward and find their their paid role as well. Have you done any other volunteer work besides with SNAP in the past? Or I have, um, I'm just trying to think back now. I did when I was younger I used to volunteer in a hospital that was when I was still at school um, and I volunteered in the school with reading that kind of thing so you know I'm, I'm not one to sit about I like to find things to do with my time and if I'm not working I'll probably volunteer and you know do something useful. <laughs> Did anyone inspire you or urge you to volunteer? No it was just myself <laughs> I wanted to fill my time my children had gone to school and I, I I didn't really want to sit at home doing nothing I wanted to feel useful. And do you think that being a volunteer with different organizations can kind of change you? Has it changed you in any way? Um, has it changed me? It's probably changed the line of work I would have gone into. Um, you know, for me, it, sitting at home was doing me no good. So in terms of that, it you know, changed my outlook on life, <laughs> introduced me to other sort of sections of society I probably wouldn't have come across um, and given me a way to fill my time as well. Mm, last question. Have there been any frustrations or disappointments during your volunteer work? I think I didn't necessarily get the support I needed um, to start with, but you know, I'm the sort of person that can just go in and do something anyway. Um, but once that was identified, I, I was given the support. Um, frustrations? Not really, because we were sort of treated as an employee, really. So we had access to everything they would have had access to. So not really any frustrations, no. Um, I think one, one, it wasn't SNAP, but somewhere else I approached a volunteer, they had a waiting list, um, which was a bit frustrating because I would have quite liked to have volunteered there, but that's the only thing I can really think of. Any words of advice or inspiration to people who might be apprehensive about volunteering? Um, 
Not really. I, I found Snap Cymru to be really welcoming and appreciative of everything we did and actually give you the self-confidence and raise your self-esteem that actually you can go out and do these things. And to be honest, it, it was a really good experience. Would you like to add anything else? I don't think so. Good. Thank you for your time. That's okay.